When perusing reviews for Herba Fresca, one thing keeps coming back, and that is this is one of the best from the Aqua Allegoria line from Guerlain. Why? Well, let's dissect it, shall we? Let's take a look at it and see why it is dubbed one of the best. What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to another Robes Await fragrance review. Today I'm putting my nose on the house of Guerlain, one of the classics that has survived discontinuation from the Aqua Allegoria line. This one's simply called Herba Fresca, so it's gonna be an herbal one. Guerlain releases these Aqua Allegoria lines yearly, and it seems that if you sell, you stay. You don't get the ax. Um, Herba Fresca and Pample Lune uh, stood the test of time pretty much because they're the only ones from the original launch of the Aqua Allegoria line back in 1999 that are still available. So they must be doing something right. So let's take a look at the stats on Herba Fresca. Hit the shelves back in 1999. Bottle sizes 2.5 ounce and I got the big boy right here the 4.2 ounce. Concentration eau de toilette. Group this in an aromatic green fragrance, pricing $40 to $90 USD, um, so not too expensive. Um, discounters have this kind of stuff. You look around and you may find this for under $60. Now the nose behind this is Mathilde Laurent, and fun fact is this is a mint-based fragrance. That That's the most I get out of this fragrance, and Mathilde is the nose behind Broadster from Cartier, another mint-based fragrance, and one of my favorites, but two different ideas with mint. Can't wait. Now let's take a look at the note breakdown for this one. Up top, very simple, straightforward. We have lemon and clover. In the mid, we have spearmint and green tea, and in the base, we have some florals here. We got cyclamen, lily of the valley, and pear flower. Major notes to this nose right here would have to be the mint. That is one, gonna, one of the central themes in this particular fragrance. Clover does its thing in here to keep that green theme alive and the green tea. Now my applications, how many sprays and where? Um, with these Aqua Allegorias, you can spray as your little heart wishes. Um, it's not going to uh, make it any better or any worse, to be quite honest. I do my one on the chest, three on the neck. So when I do three on the neck, I go one on each side, but one on the back of the neck too. So that's my three, then two on the arm. So you can't really over apply with this fragrance. It's so transparent, so easy, pleasing, and it's not, it doesn't have that huge alcohol feel that it's not a big bulky fragrance. So apply as much as you want. The only thing <laughs> that, uh, backs you down from doing that is of course how big of a bottle that you have um again uh, the price tag doesn't really you know scare me or anything so i'm applying like crazy i just got this this year and i'm already under like this little beehive here so i'm getting there as far as <laughs> um it's one of my favorites you saw it in my top 20s this year so application is around six but you can reapply and uh definitely you can go crazy with the atomizer with this one so um let's spray on the back of my hand here uh to remind me of this introduction so herba fresca for the price that you're paying damn that quality is there um and again it's from the house of getaway a very storied um perfume house um so i come to expect from it but uh, wow um how how transparent beautiful watery uh fragrance this is this is the aqua agoria line is a very um it's very thin um they they, they built these to to be mostly for for summer and that's what they are for um herba fresca as a is a dedicated set for uh fresh cut grass as per getaway um so let's sniff it out and see what i get um, fresh cut green grass is part of it, but the mint is really that central theme. So immediately Herba Fresca hits me with a beautiful authentic mint. And I can't even uh, emphasize authentic mint 
as much as I can in this particular fragrance review, just because it is authentic mint. Um, this is mint that I would come to expect from a niche brand. Um, it is a mint that I would expect from a Mount Fraiche. It actually smells very much like Mount Fraiche. As far as the mint goes, um, the mint leaf is very authentic and very invigorating. It um, Mint does that in fragrances. It, it will give you that menthol-like hit. Um, very invigorating. And this one does it. The mint reminds me of the same use as the one of the best mints that I've smelt in my whole journey, which is Mount Fresh. It really does smell like that, which is a huge compliment to this scent. This is a fraction of the price. Now, of course, fragrances, just because the, this is a mint based and Mount Fresh is a mint based, there's a lot more to those fragrances than just the mint, but they are the central theme and both of them equal, on par. The mint give this, gives this scent a menthol-like feel. Um, and it almost goes a little herbal at times. Um, it's very green, of course. Um, it's going to give you that mint leaf imagery. This, of course, is helped by the clover. The clover will give you some greenness to the fragrance. So uh, the mint, I, I know that this is described almost uh, with some reviews as just having a mint leaf and rubbing it uh, in your fingers and kind of smelling that mint leaf, that aroma right there, bang on. This is what this opening of this fragrance smells like. Now the clover in this fragrance, very interesting note. Clover, I was introduced to clover by Gap Grass, the best use of clover ever. Um, it smells like cut green grass, authentic, crazy. The clover in this fragrance is second in command and it is going to be uh, in this fragrance for most of the heart and base. And it is pulled from another scent that I absolutely love, of course, Gap Grass. Um, it's not as potent as in the Gap, but it's just as great to give you the imagery of cut green grass. Um, in this fragrance in Herba Fresca, the theme is cut green grass. And yes, that clover does it. But at the same time, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have a larger role in this fragrance. Again, it's a secondary note. It has a big role, but the mint overshadows it. Uh, the tea overshadows it a little bit, and it, it's kind of the glue of this fragrance. Um, when I smell this fragrance, I'm not thinking grass per se. I'm thinking mint. I'm thinking, you know, citruses. There's some citruses up top too, a very authentic. But at the same time, I'm thinking tea and I'm thinking florals too at the same time. But there is some grass in the background. I mean, it really is the theme of the fragrance, but at the same time, it doesn't have a huge role in this fragrance. It's an amazing note and it keeps that green theme alive in Herba Fresca uh, 100%. And I also, of course, wanted to mention that I also get the lemon up top in this fragrance. It's gonna give you a little bit of that citric theme, which is very zesty. It's very invigorating. It's very much short-lived in this fragrance, but it makes its mark in the opening. The opening of Herba Fresca gives you mint leaves, the clover, which is that cut green grass, uh, fresh lemons, a pinch of florals from the heart to the base, uh, some green tea aspects here. It, it has been described as uh, iced green tea. I'll go with that. Um, ice green tea uh, with mint leaves in the ice cubes. Yeah, that's right. I'm going that way. One sliced lemon up top, and that's the type of imagery I'm gonna get out of this fragrance. It really feels that that's what this fragrance is giving me right now. And uh, of course you're drinking this with a good book in the grass. Um, so it'll give you that green theme uh, live. Now the dry down is more the same in Herba Fresca. There's not much movement. Uh, you lose that citrus, of course. Uh, the mint starts weakening um, as the clover and green tea takes more of a central theme to, this, to uh, the heart of this fragrance. This is where the florals uh, come into play into Herba Fresca. More into the heart and dry down of the scent, the florals start peeking through and will make their mark uh, deeper with every hour that this is on your skin. Uh, the florals give the scent a touch of color, a touch of pastels uh, th towards that greenery, which is a nice balance. The florals, which may scare many men away, um, these aqua allegorias are usually tucked into the women's aisle or unisex aisle, but mostly in the woman's aisle and scares a lot of men away. And when they see a whole bunch of florals, they're just like, I ain't wearing that. I ain't, I ain't smelling like a, a, a flower. I assure you, um, this fragrance right here, um, it smells like the florals smell f like they're far away. Um, it's not like there's a bouquet right in front of your, uh, your nose. The green theme is your central theme here, but there are some florals back in it, more into the dry down of the fragrance. It doesn't show like a soapy, or a powdery uh, floral that a lot of uh, women's fragrances kind of give. And some florals do that. 
and it doesn't smell overly floral. It's a good thing about this fragrance. I do get some of the Lilia of the Valley as it helps with the green theme, as it does give a green vibe. Um, you get that jasmine uh, like a chord that will give Herba Fresca a little bit of that sweetness that it does need. The pear flower in here should give the scent a white floral aspect, but I don't get much of that to be quite honest with you. Overall, Herba Fresca, hell of a scent. Um, what does it bring you? It brings you something in this price point that you're not going to get. You're not going to get it. Um, this is the one fragrance that will give it to you. It's very uplifting. It's fresh. It's authentic as far as the mint goes. It's simple. It's light, easy to wear. A good reason why this one is one of the best sellers of the Aqua Allegoria line for this many years is just because simply that. Um, it's not as herbal as I came to expect. Uh, with a name like that, and not knowing that the mint was gonna be your, your central theme and going with the, the what they're going with is cut green grass, um, I would have been a little, I don't know, hesitant as far as an herbal scent. But at the same time, when I'm thinking herbal, I'm thinking something else. Uh, this is definitely green though. And the mint is the star of the show. And yes, I know <laughs> mint is an herb. The mint is definitely the star of the show in Herba Fresca and it is truly outstanding a worthy mint for your nose for under $100. Now looking at recommended age, you'd have to look at this fragrance as a whole, very much unisex, men, women, and as far as age group goes, anybody can really wear it. Um, fragrances that this reminds me of, um, not as a whole, but as far as the theme goes, if you really do like Mount Fresh from James Healy, and I know a lot of people haven't smelled this fragrance, but if you wanted to smell a Mount Fresh from James Healy, this is probably the next closest thing. Best time to wear this fragrance, um, while testing out this fragrance, and hell, I've tested the crap out of it this year, um, I just felt like I didn't have to think about wearing this fragrance, especially in the spring and summer. I could wear it at work as a daily daily wear workhorse. Um, anything that involves the sun outside, any activities like golf, tennis, um, any hikes, uh, barbecues, things like that. Um, I just didn't have to think about it and just wear it. Seasons, mostly spring and summer fragrance. A development, linear, average, or complex. A fairly average, more to the linear side of things. There's not much movement here. Uh, work appropriate, it can be. I've worn it multiple times at work. No problems there. Signature scent worthy, it can be. I can see it. Um, I could see this as only a seasonal base uh, fragrance that can be your signature scent for spring and summer, and then you kind of tuck it away. But I can see it as a signature scent uh, all year round if need be. So let's get into my rating system projection longevity. This is where the score goes a little lower. Uh, projections of five. Um, it's average to light as far as projection. I never felt like this fragrance pushed that much. Longevity, four bottles out of 10. Again, same thing here, um, four to six hours is the max for this one. It doesn't last that much on my skin, but what do you expect from a transparent scent like this? Compliment factor, seven bottles out of 10. Um, this fragrance is one of those that, um, it's hard to get compliments, but at the same time, when they when worn right at the right event, at the right time, um, they start flowing. People absolutely love this. Um, going golfing. Um, barbecues and stuff, this worked like a charm. Uh, uniqueness, eight bottles out of 10. Um, fairly unique in the mint game, especially for under hundred bucks. Um, it's really hard to find a really good mint and this is right up there and it may be the best for under hundred dollars to be quite honest with you guys. Pricing versus what you get and that goes to what I just said just now. I'm gonna give it 10 bottles out of 10. Um, verse, pricing versus quality and what you're getting out of the scent. Knowing full well that you're not getting a huge complex scent um, this is exactly what you want to get as far as pricing goes. Versatility, eight bottles out of 10. Fairly versatile fragrance. Smell, um, no complaints here. I really think that uh, the primary note of mint um, is, is very well balanced with the rest of the notes. Um, the, um, the way this fragrance goes from hour one to right down to hour six uh, works very, very well. So 10 bottles out of 10 as far as the smell goes. Uh, no complaints right here. And that goes to an overall score, Herba Fresca from the House of Galilee in the Aqua Allegoria line. Um, this is my first full-fledged review on an Aqua Allegoria. And uh, there's a reason why this was released in 1989 and is still selling well to this day. So I'm giving this a very high nine bottles out of 10. One of my favorite mints already. And that goes to Buy, Try, or Pass. As far as the pricing goes, um, the compliment factor, the uniqueness and smell, everything rolled into 
together. I would have to say this is a buy from the House of Caroline. If this sounds interesting to you, um, you like mint, you like cut green grass fragrances, um, and you like something a little transparent and you really like authenticity in a fragrance for under hundred bucks, you can't go wrong. Buy all day, every day. So thank you for watching my review on Herba Fresca from the House of Gatelet, one of my favorites already. Uh, hey, comment below if you have smelt this fragrance, you love it, hate it. I would love to hear your take on this particular fragrance. And please remember, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube.